as Gary was sharing this teaching about the double portion, an anointing came on me. I don't know why I said that that day. God led me to do that. But today I feel led right now to say to you, there is a double portion. And God has you watching this because he wants it for you. He wants you to tap into it. You've been crying out for answers. You've been running on that treadmill. God wants you to get off the treadmill, enter into his rest, and recognize there is a double portion, not just for Gary, but for you. Absolutely. Well, it's life-changing. Uh, so yeah, our life's been changed. But so I saw these deer, you know, five years in a row. I was getting two every time. I think. I began to expect to, I began to, ex that's a key. I began to expect the double portion. Yes. I began to expect yes. it. And that was, that's what that word is about. Yeah. Expecting. You have to expect it to be uh, able to receive it. i tell you, Adrian, I wish I just don't have time on a TV broadcast to lay it out for you, but you've got to get the book. <laughs> I'm telling you. So anyway, an interesting thing happened. Uh, and however God gets your attention, he got Peter's mm -hmm. fishing, you know, and they were astonished. I, he'll, he'll get your attention as well. But I went, um, to Cabela's. Now, this is after um, a fall hunting season, you know, and I don't do much. We have marsh on our property. I don't do much, hardly any duck hunting. Nor do you do any shopping. Yeah. <laughs> hardly. And anyway, so uh, I had went out this fall because there's so many ducks coming into our marsh and I went down and did a little duck hunting. I, I liked it and I thought, I had heard there's guns designed just for duck hunting, you know, camouflage and all that. And I was in Cabela's in January after the season was over and I was walking through there and sure enough, I'd never seen them before. There's a whole rack that said waterfowl guns, all camouflaged, you know. And without even thinking, I pointed at one of those guns and I said, I, I'd like to, Lord, I'd like to have that gun. Now, in saying so, let's make it clear, I have given away 30 some guns in my life, but I never pursued a gun. I mean, I just, I had guns I hunted with. But I said, I have that one. A month later, I was asked to speak at a corporate event, not a ministry event. And the CEO came out after the event with a box. And he said, we want to give you a gift for speaking. And he gave me the exact shotgun that I had pointed to at Cabela's. <laughs> now, I'm a spiritual scientist. Right. I know that didn't happen by accident. Right. I had put something in motion. Of course, my words, you know, we can, that's another whole topic, but that gun showed up. Now I'd given 30 some guns away, but I, like I said, I'd never said I need that one because you know, I'm content with the, right. the guns I had. But I began to think about that. And there was one gun that I didn't have. And it's those really nice over and unders, you know, they're, they're a shotgun, has two barrels, one on top of each other. They're usually <laughs> engraved, very great wood, very beautiful guns. You kind of think of seeing people hunting quail or the, the English you know, that's England, the hunting, that these really beautiful guns. And I just told the Lord, I said, well, Lord, that one came that way. I said, you know what? I've given guns away. I'd like to have one of those, those over and unders. Now I could have gone out and bought one. I had the plenty of money to do that. But I just said that. It wasn't like a week or two later, I get a phone call in the office. Uh, one of our partners, of course, we didn't tell the story of shotguns. He didn't know anything about anything about guns. He just calls up and said, I want to buy you an over and under shotgun. I mean, not buy, I want to give you an over and under shotgun. Right. So he said, I'm going to send it to you. Well, I said, that's You're all. pretty excited about that. Yeah, I was pretty excited. I said, that's all right. So here comes the box. In the box are two gorgeous over and under shotguns. Which I'm, were very, very great. I was like, wow, I've never seen guns that pretty. And you before. called him immediately. Yeah, I called him. him. I said, man, thank you so much. Yes. And a week later, I get a second box from the same guy and there's two more shotguns in there. Yeah, and this isn't a normal occurrence. I was like, this is like two wow. more shotguns. Right, right. And so I see that. And so I, then I'm at a meeting, uh, maybe a month after that, I'm doing a meeting in the morning and at a different place in the evening. And in the morning, a guy walks up and hands me a, a new gun. Now in this, my mind, I'm thinking, wait a minute, I've been seeing this double portion happening. Not that I want a gun, I'm observing. Right. There's one gun. I said, they came in twos last time. That evening, I went to another church, and another man walks up and hands me another gun. So I came home with two guns again. And, and Gary, I think it's important to say, it's not about things. It's not about it things. It is not about things. It's about the sonship. It's about God's knowing just, you have a just dad getting my attention. who loves you. It's kind of like Christmas or a gift, a birthday gift. You could go out and buy things for yourself, but when someone gives it to you, there's a love attached to that gift that makes you feel a relationship and a connection. And so, well, so when you believe God or you even just say, 
Wow, I'd love to have that. I had this happen before with my, myself. I'm not, you and I are not materialistic. We don't do a lot of shopping. We don't right, buy a lot right, of things. No. But I, I was walking down a sidewalk and looked in a window and there was a specific purse. And I said, wow, I'd love to have that purse. I kept walking, never priced it, never even thought about it. And but at Christmas, I opened up and there it is. I didn't tell a single soul about that. Yeah. So there's something about it's receiving in the house of God because well, you are a you, son, you you're said, a daughter. And yes. you speak God's word, but you see. But you've given God's, many, many, many persons oh, away. Yeah. And you see God's love, though, in that relationship. So it's about the kingdom. It's about the relationship. Right. But you said. Yes. You said, I'd like to have that purse. Right. So there's a there's a, a release of that in the earth realm from the kingdom of heaven. So anyway, down the road, that I mean, I'm obviously I can see this is something's going God's on. God's got here. your attention. I got all these deer. <laughs> I mean, God's got my attention. Right. You've got guns and coming right and left. Then this another amazing thing happened. You know, I told the story. It's in our material of uh, the Escalade we uh, we rented from a women's conference. We'd never driven an Escalade before. We drive cars till they... We know. wanted to honor our guests, so we, we, we knew they Escalade. drove an Escalade at home, so we rented them an yep. Escalade. And we drove it around. We said, you know what? This is pretty nice. We like this Escalade. And without <laughs> a long story, a guy just called me up. Now, we've given cars away before. A guy calls me up and said, I'd like to buy you an Escalade. And so we have the Escalade. About a year down the road or so, uh, the engine light comes on, no problem. They, they said just a minor sensor thing and a couple other minor things. The Escalade's beautiful. I mentioned this to the guy that gave us the Escalade. You know, hey, he said, how's that Escalade driving? I said, it's awesome, it's, it's lovely, I love it. I said, the engine light came on, you know, they said, it's, it's no big deal. And he said, I'll tell you what, you drive that down to Florida, we have a home down there. He said, and I'll buy you a second one. I mean, I about fell out of my chair. Now we have two identical pearl white Escalades that it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure and out, hey, his something's business, going on here. And his business has his just business absolutely has catapulted taken off into big incredible time. success. We've seen it grow and grow and grow and grow and grow until he's become the head. And yeah, it's awesome. It's, it's amazing to watch. Right. We're, we're running out of time, so we don't have time to keep <laughs> telling you stories about how God showed us the double portion. But the key is we want to get across that there is a double portion. The double yes. portion is your rest. The Sabbath rest, listen to this, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 9, there remains then a Sabbath rest for the people of God. That's New Testament, that's you. For anyone who enters God's rest, also rests from his own work, just as God did his. There is a Sabbath rest for you. It's provided by the double portion, more yes. than enough, running over. We don't have time to get into how you tap into it, but we have the book and we're not trying to sell books. Please understand, we wrote the book to help you understand what we've yes. experienced and learned about the kingdom. Yes. I would strongly suggest you consider getting this book because we just don't have time today to do that. When we come back in just a moment, we'll conclude and help you understand how you can get more information about the kingdom of God. Hi, I'm Gary Cassie, and you will never fulfill your destiny until you fix your money thing. Visit GaryCassie.com and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more amazing weekly videos on fixing your money thing. And thanks for watching.